So all of our patients underwent clinical examination and history. Um, and you can see that clinical examination here. We look at hip internal external rotation, flexion of the hip uh, into that 90 degree position, push through to end range looking for any tenderness uh, or reproduction of pain, and then look at hip internal and external rotation. A failure test, flexion, adduction, internal rotation, um, followed by a FABER, flexion, abduction, and external rotation. Obviously, for the purpose of this video, we're doing a little bit quicker than we would do normally. A little bit of overpressure on that FABER test, really both looking at hip pathology. A shear test to look at sacroiliac joint involvement, potentially, at two angles, um, both at 90 degrees and at 45 degrees. And again, we start with a squeeze test. So both knees and both hips flexed at 90 degrees, squeezing, trying to look at the prediction of pain, um, both at 90 degrees, 45 degrees and zero degrees. And the differentiation here really is adductor related is more 90 degrees, uh, lower abdominal or pubic aponeurosis more related at zero degrees there in that last test. To look at that rectus abdominis, that anterior pubic ligament, we asked the patient to flex their hip to about 10 degrees and have some resisted um, pressure. 